I'm joined by our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar. Can we talk research a little bit, David? Um, because there's a huge global effort going into fighting coronavirus. Can you give us an idea of just where we are with that? I can indeed. We've been talking to Professor Lawrence Young. He's from Warwick Medical School at the university. And he's been explaining how when you want to treat something like coronavirus, what you tend to do is go back through existing drugs first. So they're looking at drugs that were developed to treat HIV and Ebola. And in fact, some of the potential treatments go back even further in history. There's a very old drug that was brought in to treat malaria during the Second World War called chloroquine, which is also being tested. Last Friday, the World Health Organization launched a massive global mega trial to look at these different drugs. We're already seeing some interesting but anecdotal evidence that some of these drugs really do have an effect on patients with the disease. That is anecdotal evidence, but it is really promising. So that's treatment. What about a vaccine? Well, yes, there's a big effort going into finding a vaccine. But as I'm sure you've heard, we're probably looking about a, a year to 18 months before we can have one. There are more than a dozen different approaches to vaccine development. Some have already been fast tracked and the trial has started in Seattle. But many of us are concerned that we mustn't rush too, too, too much into this because of the um, toxicity of vaccines. We know there can be a downside to vaccines if you're not careful. So I think we need to be cautious. Nevertheless, with appropriate safety testing, it's possible that we'll have something within a year to 18 months. And that is really fast, I have to say. The professor also made some interesting points about maybe we've been quite interested in research terms in looking at antibiotic resistance, and maybe we rather took our eyes off the ball when it came to sort of finding novel ways to treat viruses like coronavirus. The whole interview is really interesting. We've put it all up on our Facebook page. Yes, definitely worth watching that. Um